What's up guys, War here, and today I'm gonna to take you through the basics of skill gems in Path of Exile. Let's do it. So we all know that skill gems are a different way of how you can use your skills in Path of Exile, and I think it's a really cool way as opposed to just having select skills. Now you can mix and match your gems however you want. Today's guide is all about teaching you, the beginners just like myself because I'm only a few months into playing Path of Exile, how to use the skill gems, what are support gems, how to use them, how to link them, and all these good things. So let's get right into it. So we're here in Path of Exile, guys, and <clears throat> skill gems are... Can be a bit overwhelming there's so many different gems when we come in here or if we look at lily you have all these different skill gems and they're all based on color and it can be a bit overwhelming when you're first starting out in the game you're depending on the class that you pick you're going to get your very first skill gem it's going to look something like this now when you first get your skills it seems very simple and the tutorial really takes through gives you a really good you know step-by-step -step process on how to do that but if you still have some misunderstandings then this video should help you out so what are skill gems skill gems are gems that are going to be used that you use for your attacks right so there's a, a few different kinds of gems that you can have right you have your attack gems right these are the gems that you're going to use for abilities right this is what you're going to deal damage with to the enemies then we have support gems right so there's normal support gems and then there's attack support gems so you got regular support, it's indicated by the support, by the support gem, and it is going to support an attack gem. That's what support gems do. They give bonuses and extra things to your attack gems. And if you can see here, let me get out of the menu here. When I hover over this, you can see supportable skills. It shows all the skills with a check mark, what can be supported by inspiration. In this case, I am using tornado shot. So if we look on the supportable skills list, you can see that tornado shot is checked. Now, if you ever have issues trying to find that out, you can just look on that supportable skills menu right there. Now, so those are the different types. There's also a an attack support gem, which is going to do two things. It's going to be an attack gem, to, so it's going to be passive attacks as well as supporting a specific skill, as we can see here with the supportable skills. So we have attack skills we have uh critical support gem or support gems and then we have attack support gems now there's also just regular support and critical support these things just add more additional uh support to your attack gems now you can see that there's all the different colors right there's blue green and red all of these had different abilities different supports different attack gems and they all apply to certain classes some are better for others etc right like, like tornado shot is a skill that's designed for the ranger and there's other skills that are designed for other classes right so even though that is that may be the case these gems can be used by any class and i think that's one of the most important and awesome things all this tornado shot skill requires is a bow and you can see it indicated here it says attack projectile and it's a bow so it's telling you it's an attack gem it shoots projectiles and you need a bow enabled to use it now on top of having a bow there is a list of other requirements that you need okay so when you look at it it says required level 72 so it requires my character to be level 72 to use this gem because it's level 21 and it also requires 159 dexterity to use that's a lot of dexterity so when I pull up my character, I have 311, which is pretty low, but I need 159 in order to use this gem. When you first get a gem at level one, however, it's not gonna be that high. So let's look at Tornado Shot at level one. So level one Tornado Shot requires me to be level 28, and I need a dex of 67. When you're going through the campaign and you get uh, you know, through the ax, this is gonna be really, really easy and achievable to get. Level 28 is fairly early in the axe, so in having a dex of 67 is easily achievable when you're first starting out in the game. But as you continue to level a gem, those requirements are going to go up. So make sure you keep in mind when you're trying to equip a certain gem, if you meet all the prerequisites for it. Then each gem also has a cost, right? Eight mana. I have 59 mana, so I can cast this, this spell or this skill. Same thing here, this one is gonna cost me 10 mana. So I'm going to be able to cast this multiple times. Now, what do the colors mean? 
the colors are the different types of gems that you're going to be able to use and they color coordinate with the skills in your uh, weapons and gear as an example let's go grab one so if i look at this bow i have a green socket three blue sockets a green socket and a red socket each gem can only go in the same color coordinate so green can only go in green you see how the blue and reds highlight out blue can only go in blue and red can only go in red now you can change these colors simply with your chromatic orb and it changed the colors of the sockets this weapon is corrupt so let me grab another one really quickly so if i go into my currency i can right click and it'll change the colors and it added me a red so that's how you can change the colors of the sockets to match whatever skill gems that you need to be used or need to be using for whatever skills you're trying to use okay so that's how those match up now it's important to know how these work and how these support each other because when you're going through the game there's going to be some that may not work and some that will work and, and it's really hard to understand so from a base standpoint we have tornado shot here this is my attack skill and we have an inspiration support skill there's a lot of text here but i don't want you to be overwhelmed about how these things work so when we look at the inspiration support it says supported skills the top line has 34 percent reduced mana cost so when we look at this tornado shot is going to cost 10 and we're going to minus it by 34 percent it's very straightforward and as you continue to read it says support skills deal five percent more elemental damage per inspiration charge and increased crit strike per inspiration charge because we gain inspiration charges when we spend mana on an upfront cost or effect of supported skills so every time we fire tornado shot we're getting an inspiration charge which is reduced and then we deal more damage and more and have a higher critical strike chance for this skill which is why we end up doing so much damage which is pretty awesome so even though there's a lot of text on the screen for these i don't want you to be overwhelmed okay so when we put these back in you can see that tornado shot gets all these bonuses and we deal a crap ton of damage this may seem low but we have a long list of bonuses here now when it comes to the skills and the sockets in your weapons and gear some skills can be supported by multiple gems it doesn't mean you can just have one you can have multiple gems so tornado shot here is being supported by power charge on crit support trinity support inspiration support fork support as well as mirage archer support so this skill has five different supports applied to it when you first start out you may not have a bow with so many you may have the bow that starts with just two which is okay because then you can have the attack skill plus one support skill and then once you get to four and then eventually six or five you can add more to make the skills stronger it's very straightforward in that sense and remember when you're looking at support skills use the supportable skills um key or menu or key here that tells you exactly what can be supported by this skill it makes it super easy so that way you're not confused when you attach a supported skill to an attack skill and you're wondering why it's not working okay now i want to show you something so we're going to take my belt out and this is very important towards the prerequisites of these gems so i lost some intelligence here okay so when i'm highlighting over gems okay power charge on crit the intelligence says 111. So that means I can't use it because I don't have 111 intelligence because I don't have my belt in here, which gives me 35 more. So if you ever see when you're trying to use a skill, your, your gear light up red like this, it's not from the gear itself. It's because of a gem. And if you just hover over the gear piece or weapon, it'll show you red is 111 int. I already have the strength index to use every single gem that's in here this just means that it's taking the highest level base stat requirement of a gem you need in order to use it now if you watch if i take power card charge on crit out i can use my bow and everything in it no problem and i can't add this back in it won't let me add it back in unless i meet the prerequisites so we add this back and then i can reattach power charge on crit and we are good to go so guys, these are this is like a basic tutorial for beginners and how skill gems, what they are, how they work, and how you can match them up and make them very, very strong.
okay? It's a little bit overwhelming when you're first getting started because you may not know what to combine, but this basic should help you guys out in order to just get your experience going along the way. So when you're looking at build guides and you're looking at POBs and how some skills can work with each other, now you get a little bit better understanding. Make sure to like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about skill gems. If you guys have any extra tips, let everybody know down in the comments below because that is awesome. We really want to grow this community. Again, there is so many players coming over from other a ARPGs, especially Diablo 4 playing Path of Exile. So this beginner series is just for you as well as me because we all are still learning. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.